Jonathan, what is our third main topic today? All right, well, we got one from Jesse the Savage. He writes, or she writes, I'm not sure. Hey, crew, big fan. I saw that The Hollywood Reporter is reporting that the Warner Brother, that Warner Brothers just announced that The Flash is opening one week earlier than the previous date. What does this tell you about The Flash? Keep up the great work and bring on the filthy. All right, man. Thanks a lot for sending that, or ma'am, uh, for sending that in. And guys, it's never, it never quite feels right unless we're talking about The Flash. There's always got to be something to talk about The Flash. So yeah, listen, <laughs> obviously we don't need to, to revisit the whole history of all the drama, the 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 35 things that's gone on with Ezra Miller and all the trouble they've gotten into and all the embarrassment they've caused this project in the studio and all that kind of stuff. But at the end of the day, all we have heard was that this movie that this director made is fantastic. That's all we keep hearing that the movie itself is a high quality product. And because of that, Warner Brothers has unwavered on the fact that this movie is coming to theaters because it's great. We think it's a great movie. Our director did a fantastic job making this movie. And so it's going to see a movie theater, unlike Batgirl, which we did not believe in, but we believe in this one. Now, there are some people online like me that have really suggested that I think it would have been wise for Warner Brothers to take Flash and move it up as much as possible. Only because Ezra Miller is so erratic that you just don't want to risk more embarrassment and bad press for it. So just get this movie out as quick as you can. But they've held firm until now. Because now... The movie is getting released a little bit earlier. This comes to us from the folks over at IndieWire who wrote the following. Deadline is reporting that the response to early test screenings for The Flash have been overwhelmingly positive with one anonymous source saying that the film is as good as Disney's Spider-Man No Way Home. The film reportedly features nostalgia-invoking cameos from Michael Keaton and Ben Affleck and have played extremely well with fans. The strong response has caused Warner Brothers to move the film's 2023 release date up by a week. And I'll tell you why that's important here in a second. The film was originally scheduled to open in theaters on June 23rd, 2023, but will now open on June 16th. That slot positions the film to compete for a large portion of the Father's Day weekend box office with Pixar's It Elemental and Sony's Jennifer Lawrence comedy, No Hard Feelings, that's not going to be big competition, as the film's only major competition. And then that comes to us from IndieWire. So they've decided to move the release date of Flash up, but it's not a lot. It's only by a week. So does that really matter? It does, because there's a couple of really interesting things about that. This movie is already coming out in a month that's completely packed. Let's go over to the classroom for just a second here. Because mm -hmm. look at this. On June 2nd, we've got a, this movie's going to be huge. Again, not a billion dollar film, but this movie's going to be huge. We've got Spider-Man Across the Spider-Verse. We saw some footage of this at CinemaCon and everybody lost their minds over it. Everybody thought, it, they were even showing us animation that wasn't finished. Like it was some finished animation. And then as the scene, scene continued, it would switch to like pencil sketch animation. And then scene would continue to go back to full animation. Then the scene would continue and then go to wireframe animation. But it didn't matter. Like everybody was so taken with it. It looked incredible. That's coming out in June. But that ain't the only thing coming out in June. On June 9th, Transformers Rise of the Beasts come out. Yeah. And that trailer that just dropped is awesome. All Transformer trailers are awesome. They usually turns out to be big bags of shit, the movies. But hey, the trailer was great. And regardless of what you or I might say, the reality is, is that these Transformers movies, they make cash. They make money. So that's coming out just one week before The Flash now on June 9th, which of course then leads us into June 16th, which is The Flash. Now, as was already mentioned right there in the article, that uh, that now puts it on the exact same day as Pixar's Elemental. Now, they just recently put out the first trailer for Elemental. It was really just a little teaser, but it was pretty wonderful. It felt like it had that Pixar magic to it. Had a little bit of um, Inside Out, 
to it a bit, a little bit. To me, I had a little bit of a sense of a Wally to it as well. It just felt really nice, really special. But here's the big thing. One of the reasons that they moved it back a week, even though it puts them into this really big hornet's nest, is that by moving it up one week from June 23rd to June 16th, it moves it one week further away from Indiana Jones 5 and the Dial of Destiny. Because whatever fake controversy some people try to cause around this, I don't think Indiana Jones, personally, I don't think Indiana Jones 5 is going to be a billion dollar film. I, I just don't think it will. But it's going to be big. It's going to be big. And I don't think Warner Brothers wanted their Flash movie that they seem to have a lot of belief in. I don't think they wanted that to have its opening weekend and then to have its second weekend absolutely crushed by Indiana Jones. And I've said for a long time, I believe two weeks in the modern way people go to movies. The movies make the vast majority, normally, mm -hmm. normally, movies make the vast majority of their money in their first two weeks. And so I think two weeks, I mean, you'd rather have a little bit more space, but two weeks isn't isn't all that bad. So there's that. But guys, take a, take a second here. As we've been going through the pandemic and now in the post-pandemic era and, you know, maybe one good movie every month. Look at this June. June 2nd, Spider-Man Across the Spider-Verse. June 9th, Transformers Rise of the Beast. June 16th, Flash. Also June 16th, Pixar's Elemental. June 30th, Indiana Jones 5. It is starting to look normal again. <laughs> Things are starting to look normal again. That is going to be, an, that's, I am very excited about this month. Now, I don't believe all these movies are going to be great, but I think all of them have the potential Twice. to be great. And that's the key. It's been a long time since I've gone into a month where I've had like five or six high profile films coming out that I truly believed had the chance of all of them being really good. I'm sure one or two of these are going to be disappointments, but I think there's a lot of possibilities in here and a lot of potential in here. So moving the flash up one week, even though I would say this, and, and there are going to be people who disagree and that's fine. But I think if you were given the chance and the option, if I was a studio executive at Warner Brothers and they presented me the option, said, okay, hey, look, we basically want to stay in June. Now we can stay on a weekend that we basically have the weekend to ourselves on June 23rd, but we're only one week away from Indy 5. Or we could move up one week release on the same weekend as another potentially big film with Pixar's Elemental, but we're putting two weeks of separation mm -hmm. between us and Indiana Jones. I think I would be in the boardroom voting for giving my, me that extra separation. Yeah, it, it, it pads your second week drop-off. Yes. Because you don't have a competition to deal with that second week drop-off. And on top of that, whatever money you may lose out on, if there are some families that weekend that decide, you know what, instead of us going to go see Flash, we want to take the kids and go see Elemental, fine. The fall, your second weekend now, you basically got to yourselves, right? So me personally, I would keep it there. Now, again, if I was in that boardroom, I'd be saying, hey, guys, you know what? February's looking pretty good to me. <laughs> let's just, let's really move this thing up. Obviously, that's not going to happen right now, but I think this is a good move on their part. Question is for you guys. What do you think about this move, that they've moved the Flash up one week? Doesn't sound like much, but there's actually some chess going on here. Would you have kept it on its own weekend away from Pixar, but only one week separated from Indiana Jones? Or would you do what they ultimately decided to do? Go head-to-head -head with the Pixar film, but give yourself more cushion between you and Indiana Jones 5. What do you think the right move would have been? Or do you think all this is for nothing because Ezra's going to blow up the headlines again and just sink it for everybody? Whatever you guys think, jump down into the comments section below and let us know your thoughts. We want to take a second to thank a sponsor of this video, Raycon. Guys, the holiday season is upon us, so in the spirit of giving, allow me to give you my recommendation. Premium audio products from Raycon. Raycon's wireless earbuds, headphones, and speakers offer premium sound. Anyone you gift them to will find a use for them right away. And as the person doing the gift giving, you're going to love the fact that they start at half the price of other premium audio brands. You guys know I've been using my Raycons for a long time. Every morning I get up and get on my treadmill and I love using the Raycons because they're comfortable, they fit perfectly, and most importantly, they sound great. You can find Raycon in stores now like Cold 
Kohl's or Walmart, but let me tell you right now, you're always going to get the best deal at buyraycon.com slash campia. The Raycon website also offers free shipping, free returns, and buy now, pay later options, plus a 30-day happiness guarantee. So guys, right now, go to buyraycon.com slash campia to get 15% off site-wide with the code HOLIDAY, plus free shipping. That's code HOLIDAY at buyraycon.com slash campia for 15% off your Raycon purchase. Buyraycon.com slash campia.